everybody, it's Steve Cook with Premier Guitar and PremierGuitar.com. Today I am holding, yeah, I'll say it, it's a beast. Um, let me start off by saying, before you get any haters in there on the internet, because you're going to hate, I know you're going to hate, um, <clears throat> this is really, this is really cool. Uh, this is the Thundercat, this is the uh, TCB 1006 HL from, uh, from Ibanez, and it's basically an art core based on steroids, and um, so... It's a signature version or a signature model for, uh, for Thundercat, who is a Grammy-winning bass player, uh, Suicidal Tendency, Snoop Dogg, uh, his solo stuff, Kendrick Lamar. And, um, and so he came up with this thing. And you look at it, you're like, wow, that thing is a beast. It is a beast. I'm not going to lie. I, was, I opened the case, and I was like, wow, this is, uh, this is something different. Um, now, if you take away these strings, top and bottom, normal string spacing, you have basically an art core, you know, String spacing, it's not, it's not a lot, but, but what happens is you get down here and your senses sort of explode because there's, there's more here than normally should be. So today's signal chain is very simple. It's the TCV 1006 from Ibanez into our Aguilar Tone Hammer. That's coming out of the DI into an Apogee Quartet into Pro Tools. Um, let's just run you through the specs. Let's run you through the instrument and uh, then you can get your own opinion from there. So um, 13 pounds, let me say that again, 13 pounds. All night gig, well, you know, do your shoulder shrugs in the, in the gym and we'll see what happens. I'm going to flip this thing on its side real fast so you can see what's going on. Uh, we have a quarter inch in on this side and then a 13 pin midi right behind it. Bing. There she is. And that's important. There's going to be a quiz on this later. So remember that 13 pin midi, quarter inch in. Um, this is a, a uh, quilted maple top. We have curly uh, maple on the sides of the back. There's... Um, Maple on, there's a lot of maple on this. There's maple on the neck. Um, these are acrylic inlays on the rosewood fretboard. These are EMG uh, passive uh, 45HZ pickups. There's also a piezo or piezo, however you say it, whichever country you're in. Uh, then uh, back here is a massive hip shot A style bridge. There's also ultralight tuners to help with neck dive. And I'm going to flip this over so you can see some of the binding and you can also see the, uh, the stripes on the neck. It's a pretty instrument. It really is. So, okay, so here's what we do. Normal pickups, normal everyday here, EMGs. Switching. We can switch between bridge. We can switch between, I'm sorry, bridge. We can switch between neck or both. Okay, got that. Master volume. That's great when these are on. But at the top of the piece, the only thing I had playing was the piezo pickup. So um, these volume control for the pickups. This is tone control for the pickups. This is the volume for the piezo pickup. And then this is the volume for MIDI. So once you're hooked down, this won't work unless the 13 pin is hooked up. Um, again, there's some other things down here. This is a switch for MIDI, piezo, and normal pickups. Again, it's not going to work unless the 13 pin is plugged in. This is a MIDI switcher. So instead of doing this on the, on the pedal board, you can switch your sounds with the bass. Kind of cool, right? So then there's also a mid dark switch for the piezo pickup. So there's a lot of stuff you can do um, with this bass and, and you're looking at it saying, well, this is kind of all weird, but it really is functional and it, it really does make a lot of sense once you're into it. Now, let's talk about this for a second. So my hands are not big, they're not small, they're just hands. Um, eh, you know, it's kind, of, it's kind of daunting when you look at this, this pretty wide neck. But at the same time, um, the relief is so shallow that you can kind of reach and do some things. So sitting with this bass for a minute, you get really comfortable on it. So, um, you know, am I a six string player? Uh, no, I'm nobody in Nashville plays six string since Keith Horn left. Hi Keith. Um, but, but, um, you know, but it's a, uh, it's a, it's a well-made bass. It's very well put together. Uh, it makes a lot of sense once you get into it. And who's going to want to play this bass? You know, Curiosity seekers, uh, people that want a unique instrument, people that want something that nobody else has. There aren't very many of these in the country, um, apparently. So, you know, uh, it's, it's pretty hip. So let's hear some sounds. And uh, I'm going to go in with the traditional pickups first. So again, everything else is, is off. I'm going to roll up the volume and uh, leave the tone down. And this is both pickups, and this is the EMG. Mm -hmm. 
Now it's just the neck pickup. And if you haven't guessed, this is strung with flats. And now the bridge pickup. here in this guitar area up here. So we're gonna go back to both pickups with that tone rolled up. the neck pickup with the tone up. Now I'm gonna add the, the piezo pickup. Traditional pickups out and it's piezo only. And then we're going to move this mid dark switch. So, <laughs> Thundercat, TCB1006 HL from Ibanez, signature model that is pretty cool, pretty unique. If you have a chance to play one of these snuffleupagus-like instruments, check it out for yourself. Um, you'll be happy you did. And then, uh, and then if, you, you know, if you don't have a chance, check out our written review, which is in the magazine, always. And you can watch this video a few more times and pick it apart. And check out, you know, again, not as daunting, really nice, really nice, really nice. And... What can I say? For Premier Guitar, for PremierGuitar.com, this is Steve Cook. I'll see you real soon. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.